Welcome, friends. It is I, your host, Oscar. It's time for the patch notes, and here it is. Kukulkin. There he is right there. They're replacing Valkwong, a wind dragon serpent thingy, bird guy. He squits a Kotal the Mayan version, and he's a huge fan of the good sun. All right, there we go. So we're going to talk about, well, all the god stuff. Balances, items, skins, voice pack, all that stuff's going to be talked about right here. And we'll see if it's going to be one or two videos depending on length because we got to talk about a lot of gods. So let's get going. First thing I'm going to say is I called out an Odyssey, it looks like. Skin, ward skin, and icon. It looks like it's going to be everything. So next up is Pixel Buster Frey, and I'll buy that later on today. And over here, Macaulay Culkin. Here he is. That is just a badass looking dragon. That's going to be fun to play him in the future. Just look at him. Just look at the guy. Just look at him. We're going to look at just how his abilities look uh, in the uh, in later in the patch. And we'll see if there's anything special to talk about. I don't know. I think he has the same kit. Exact same kit. Yeah, it says old kit right there. That should be fine. And here she is. Pixel Buster Freya. 600 gems. I have just enough gems, so I'm going to get her. I don't have enough for the voice pack yet, so I'll get that later on. But blam! There it is. Level up. That is pretty funny there. And that's cool. She's like Samus... And a lot of other things, obviously. And up next is going to be the king. And a lot of people are pissed about this. I know I'm not happy about it. This is his first premium skin, and it's in the damn treasure chest. What the? Come on. But it's a pretty cool looking skin. It is a scary as ball skin as well. His face is not pleasant at all. And he's pretty hilarious. His skin's pretty hilarious. And I can't wait to see somebody play that skin. And then the dances. The dances are cool, but my problem with the dances, like jump and everything else, is these are the trolliest thing. You're going to kill someone and dance. That's what you're going to do. You're going to have fun with that, but it's also going to piss a lot of people off. But look at that thriller, Fenrir, that's great. We got Camel Dance, of course. Popping and locking over here with Janice, and then we got the monkey going on. And I don't even know what the other one is. So there you go, that's all of that. So now let's go ahead and look at the skins themselves. Okay, first up's got to be Golden Circuit. There she is right there, and bam! Gold. Portrait looks nice, and the skin looks nice. Very shiny. Very cool looking. Very hot there. Look at that. Very nice. And diamonds. There we go. Diamonds. Bam. Okay, and emotes. She's got clap. There it is. Interesting. And then she's got wave. And she's not doing that rotating wave, which is surprising to me, because I I thought that was the wave that you have to do, like the queen and stuff like that. But no, nope, that's not the wave she's doing. Let's take a look at the king. Let's see here. He's also got emotes as well. Here's the king. Bam, just look at him. Look at that double chain. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at this thing. And he has special, like some of his abilities look different as well. When he does his leap, he, it says welcome to Vegas. I said that already. It just looks hilarious. And I wish this wasn't in the treasure chest. It's his only freaking premium skin besides Chris Mash. But there you have it. And here we go with the voice back. On my way. Oh my god. I'll attack left lane. Oh my god. Enemies incoming middle. Oh my god. Thanks. I'll attack, honey. Oh, damn, Johnny Bravo. That's amazing there. And then he's got emotes. See your clap. <laughs> oh, my God. Here you guys. Oh, my God. That is dinky. What about wave, though? Oh, my God. That's even dinkier. It's like a little pudgy two-year-old waving at you. Oh, my God. That is amazing. That is just amazing right there. Holy crap. And then I'd like to show you the misdiagnosis uh, Neath voice, but you actually can't hear it right now because it's bugged. Chase the enemy. I'm sure you can hear it in-game, but no. you can't hear it in the lobby, Thanks. so that's too bad there. And she's got any most, of course, dance, which we know this dance, of course. That's from her victory. Let's move on to... Arachne. She's got emotes and a new skin here, so let's take a look at it really quick. There it is. Toxic Caress. I wish this came out a long time ago. I got no reason to get I got all these other skins to get. Still don't have the best looking skin though. It was Black Widow. But she's got emotes. Let's see these. Let's see Wave. <laughs> hey, waving. Waving at you. But check this one out. She freaking claps with that. What the hell? Wow. Very silent claps. Can barely hear that. Oh my god. Kakulkin. So here is Kakulkin here. And that's a pretty cool looking dragon there. Look at that portrait. Very nice portrait there. Just amazing looking right there. Just a good job to the art team on that. We got Typhoon Kakulkin. Looks great as well. Golden Kakulkin. And just looks amazing. Look at that. Look at the tips. That is amazing highlighting right there. Just good job. You got the black one even better. Look at the, look at the highlights on the white. Damn! Amazing! Then Diamond. Diamond looks good as well. I think I like the black one better. But holy crap, all these skins look great. Good job to the art team. Amazing. And then we'll... 
And now voice pack. Help left lane. I'll attack middle lane. I'll gank right lane. Listen to that, he sounds just compared to Alec Wong, so young now. Out of mana. No. Wait. Going into the jungle. I'm returning right lane. Defend middle lane. Nice job. I'm gonna say that's Macaulay Culkin talking. I mean, and of course, if you like the Sacred Dragon, it has maintained the old Alec Wong voice. Enemies incoming middle. Yay! You better retain that voice. Enemies incoming Be careful, middle. middle. Attack Celebration. Celebration. All right, there you go. And the last one to look at is... No, I think that's everything. Yep, that's everything there. So now it's time to look... Oh, wait, Freya. <laughs> we got to look at Pixel Breast Affair before we buy her. So let's do a look at her. Bam! 8-bit Freya right there. 8-bit sword. Samus armor. Crap ton of references to her. She's amazing. Now let's hear that voice back. Set up an ambush here. Uh-huh. Going into the jungle. Gank right lane. Stay here. Be right back. I feel like Vanellope was the uh, inspiration for this voice. At least that's my belief. No! <laughs> no! Oh my Defend god! Wow. Just wow. Alright, okay, it's time to buy her. Let's get to doing that. Okay, girl, we're gonna buy Pixel Buster and then get her voice back later on. Buying it. And use gems. Kablam, we now have it! Yeah! We'll see that in the future. But also, we got a chest open, right? So how do we uh, open that chest? So, let's see, we got... No, 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 no. Odyssey? Go to Odyssey. Yeah, we bought this. Uh, yeah, we bought that. Now, how do I use a chest right over? Uh, ah, oh, the chesticles over here, right? There it is. All right. Use it. I got the Shaolin Monk, but I got freaking Red Monkey. Oh, well, I got a skin I don't care for. All right, well, we got it. All right. Big surprise. Well, I liked Aphrodite. That was cool. I don't care about that one, but I'll use it whenever I use Hunbats in the future. Which is never! Alright, let's get going here. Okay, general stuff's like they added a crap ton of emotes, and they added a crap ton of flags, and where is... Yep, there's the Philippines. Okay, yep, they added a bunch of flags here. Besides that is they took away first one of the day for League, which I think is a good thing because people just go in there and kind of ruin it for the hardcore people. So I'm glad that's gone. I'm putting on her so we can look at her while I'm talking about this. There's a new UI, which we'll see when we look at the gods. They made it that you can have whatever frame you want, so you can either have the regular frame, the gold frame, or maybe you want one of the other frames instead. If you own it, you you can put that up instead of whatever frame you get with the god you're playing. You can now decide to show your stats or not, which I don't know how I feel about that. Hiding your stats? Why do they keep making us hide? Like, why do they keep letting us hide things? I don't... not a fan of that. Just be proud of your stats. Good or bad, be proud of it. You'll get better. And then the rotation is Isis, Subek, Shox, Expel, and Thanatos, so we're going to see... A lot of annoying Thanatos is for sure. x I don't know. Chalk's pretty good, so i yeah. And then Isis. Isis is so strong in the mid. We're going to see a lot of strong mids for sure. And that should be everything. So now it's time to talk about items. Okay, first up is Odysseus's bow. Plus 40 attack speed. The passive is every basic attack has 25% chance of doing chain lightning. My assumption is it blows up and it just bounces from target to target to target. Like maybe the ring toss, stuff like that. Or it just bursts and hits a bunch of things. I'm not sure which one it's going to be. We'll see when we actually use it, and we'll use it on Odin just to show it. And nearby enemies, let's see, 30 damage plus 50%. The max power you can have is 500, so 280 is the max you can possibly do with this. Not bad damage at all. You can only do it once every one second if it happens. Not bad. Now, it seems like it'd be more of an early game item just for clearing and some harassment. Late game item could probably be used to soften the team up if you can get them near each other. Like, if the enemy's bunched up, you can soften up pretty good, I think. It all depends on them being near each other. So I don't know how great an item this would be late, early game maybe. But would you get this over Golden Bow level 2? I don't know. I really don't. But it'll be something to play with and see in the future. Now here's the other item. Or items. And that is Dynasty Plate Helm and Celestial Legion Helm. And they're both basically counter physical. Give you a little bit of magical power as well. So it's like dealing with a, a warrior in the soul lane most likely. Maybe even in the mid if you have to deal with them. That's what this item feels like it's for most likely. Well, at least the Dynasty played Helmwood. Magical power, physical protection, and plus 15 magical penetration. Not bad. It's pretty cheap for it. Not a bad item there. I think I'd rather get other things, though. Then here's the big one. Celestial Legion Helm. This could be good for any mage late game. Because it gives you not a lot of power, a good number of physical protection, though, but the passive what's about. And that is, when someone hits you with a crit, for the next three seconds you can't get hit with another crit, and you gain 40 magical power. This can only happen every 20 seconds, though. 
And so this is a counter to just late game power on the physical side because they build crit. And so this is, of course, Mercury can kill you in under three seconds with crits. Honor probably can too. Basically all the hunters can. And of course the question is, what does this do to Naya? Because, well, his ultimate is crits. So my understanding is it doesn't activate until the third hit. So the third crit from Naya is when it activates, which isn't bad. But, yeesh, it's still... That ultimate activates that, so not so great there for Naya, but hopefully they'll still be able to get kills. And that's really all this is for. This is to deal with late-game potential of physical gods. That's it for the items. Let's go ahead and take a look at the gods now. Okay, first up, Arachne got nerfed from the PTS. Big surprise. And Odin got buffed. How nice is that? Now for Aphrodite. Aphrodite got a nerf on her kiss. Now what happened here is... There's now a 3 second cooldown whenever she links to allies, and the reason why is because she could link to an ally, use her ult on them, link to another ally to use lovebirds, and link to another ally and use back off in a very quick amount of time. So they did this so she can't multitask as quickly, which is too bad because that's amazing when you do that, but eh, it is what it is and that's just too bad. Now Kabraken, they gave him 5 more movement speed, so that's pretty good for him, he's gonna have, he's gonna be able to get in your face a lot easier there. They changed his refraction shield, and this is really good, it's more in tune of what he's trying to do here, and that is... As you take damage, you gain defenses. That's what it should be. He's in your face. He should be running at you to do his stuff to you. He should not be losing defenses as that happens, especially because it only takes one hit to lose his strongest defense. So that's not that great. Gaining it is better. That's good. Let's him be in your face. And after eight seconds, the defenses will reset. Or after he uses his two, the defenses will reset. And that's good there. That's a lot better there. They made Tremors a little bit stronger, 35% now. Someone said they made it smaller, though. Without telling anyone, I don't know if that's what happened. That's only rumor heard, so I'll have to see later on. And then there's Tectonic Rift. They made it a bit stronger, and now the walls need to get hit with a number of base attacks instead of just uh, being destroyed by abilities. Like, you could destroy it yourself on accident, really. But now it's just basic attacks are the only way to take it out, and that's great there. And also it hits harder. So they moved Guan Yu's abilities around again, kind of. They moved around his defenses. He no longer has defenses on Conviction. His heal is now cheaper as well. And now he steals defenses on Talu Assault again. That's what they did. He steals defenses again. And also... They also increased it back up to 10. Holy crap. So he can take a lot of defenses and gain a lot of defenses. So that's what they've done with him. They just took that amazing number of armor he could give himself and teammates. And put it on his Talu Assault again. So he just keeps going back and forth with his abilities a little bit. And this is where he is now. Hopefully that's where he's going to stay. Because holy crap. But this makes him a very good support really. And maybe we'll see him in support lane again, because as a support with all those stacks, he can do some amazing things against the other team. He nerf! He lost some points of damage on his water cannon. Overall, he lost about 20 power. And on water spot, he no longer slows when he pops you up. Oh my god, that one hurts a little bit. You can still land things, like after they popped up, you can land the rest of your abilities though. But that slow did help a little bit for setting up. So, I don't know. It's not hard to land your things with Hebo, but still... We'll see if that actually makes a difference or not. It may or may not. Hercules gets nerfed on Mitigate Wounds. Now it's only up to 90%, so you never heal more than you take. 90% is still pretty good, but 110 was amazing. I still think we're going to see a lot of not dying Hercules, but it's going to be a little bit closer now. Just a little bit closer. Kali gained 5 points of damage on her Lash and her Destruction. So per tick, plus 5 damage right there, and per Lash, plus 5 damage. I don't know why they made her a little bit stronger. Kali's amazing. I guess she was just underperforming a little bit, so they put her up a little bit. New one nerfed again. This time it's on Fog. She lost about um, 50 points of damage, I think. And that's a lot of damage right there, just on the Fog. It's a nice ability, but it's all about these two in combination. But they nerfed her again. I guess she's just performing too well, and you know what's doing that. You know what's doing that, but there you go. They've nerfed her again. She's all right. I think it's all about being opportunistic, really, to do things right with her and also getting these soldiers to work out correctly. But I don't think she's as strong as they think. I think it's just because of the freaking one thing. All right, here we go. Up next is... No one else. It's just Nua. Okay, there we go. Yeah, the rest of the things are bug fixes. That's it. So Nua's the last nerf there. I'm next going to be the gods. And so we're going to look at Odin. Maybe look at Kabrakin for a moment just to look at his, how that goes up. Look at Kakulkin and Arachne, of course. So that's coming up. Alright, we couldn't see this earlier, but there you go, now it's showing up. And there you go, this is a pretty cool looking thing right here. This wasn't up earlier, now it's up, so they just put it in. That's cool. Let's go ahead and take a look at... We're gonna look at... Oh, cool, more tutorials. We're gonna take a look at Kakulkin first. So let's go in there. 
Good cook. Celebration! What? 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 There's Kikokin. So, what was that? I, I, you know, what? What? Oh my god. Oh wait, I can switch to Kikokin. Switch to Kikokin. Ah, balls. Okay, let's do it right this time. Kukulkan. That's what he sounds like right there. Just, I can't believe it's a celebration if you if you get Alcorn right there at the start. That's pretty funny. Though. That's great. That is, that is awesome. That is pretty awesome there. Hells yeah. Okay, let's just take a look at the abilities really quick, and there you go. I changed the UI because, eh. The old UI is better for stream stuff, and you'll see that when you look at the stream later on. Let's send them shivers down their spine. Nice. Let's see here. Just one of everything. There we go. So you can see, nice looking UI here. Just actives and items. And what I like is the passive here. They need this for every god that has a passive that puts up, like Vamana, Hebo. They need this to show. That'd be great for them. Let's see the abilities really quick. All right. There you go. Little lightning effect there. That's pretty cool. And here's his ult. Hello! That looks pretty cool there. Now, someone made the point is it's the old sounds. And I'll, I'll agree, it should not be the old sounds. It feels weird to hear that sound out of a, this guy right here. And the winds, I could take a little bit. But I don't know. I feel like the two just sounds odd for this guy to make that sound. Take a look at Kabrakin next. Okay, taking a quick look at Kabrakin's passive with Ra, so here we go. He's gonna get hit. So one, two, three, four, five, yeah. Now it's passive and it's full and he's taking a lot less damage right now. That's good there and then it disappears when I do this. There you go. And then if Ra would hit me, let's see the three. The three looks like the same size to me as far as I can tell at least. So Kabrakin's building up his passive as he's doing the three, so that's good there. That works out. Hitting this raw here. I'm going to die because I don't have the stats for it. But there we go. So that's really it. Just seeing that. I got really good defense right now. Not so bad. I might die. Let's see here. Bam! Nope, I win. Taking a quick look at Pixel Buster Freya just to show it. There's her portrait right there. Look at her powers. The game doesn't start until you say yes. Check out her level ups. <laughs> look at that. That's great. That's awesome. Now I'll have her voice back later on. Let's see her abilities. So here's a one. Here's a two. Oh, I gotta hit enemies with this. I can hit enemies with this. Let's go over and hit an enemy with that when it pops up again. Here? Oh, this is what's great. Her freaking banish. Look at that! Look at that! That's great. Now here's her one again. Hit him with that. Now here's her two. She hits him with the freaking blocks of it. See that? Like, that's so cool looking right there when it bursts like that. Here's her ult. She had like a rocket pack going on there. Nice looking right there. Do this again one more time. And that's all her abilities right there. Just looks pretty cool. I don't know if her death is different. She's not going to die to these guys. So just move on over to just Ra to hit her to death or... Oh, Fire Giant will do it. Let's go to that Fire Giant really quick. I wish I could hear her jokes, but these are the same ones. Oh, no, she's... Stay forever. Oh, my God, she's making the jokes. Forget what I said. Hey, on, listen. Try not to get your pixels in a bunch. <laughs> your resolution looks a little low. Let's see another one. Yeah. What, you're going to fight again? Ooh, yep, game over screen right there, nice. How many things does she have? That was like four jokes. All right, now let's take a look at Odin and Arachne. Okay, so here we go. Here is Odin here, and here's his abilities. Very purple, and the only real changes is just some stat changes, and his passive and his two, and his and his ultimate. His passive is, if an enemy dies in his ring of spears, which means he gets the kill or an ally gets the kill, he gains physical power permanently. This can stack up multiple times. That should be up to five of them. So 50 physical power, pretty good there. His lunge is the same, but now he's got this thing called Raven Shout, and it's his two. And what it is, is it gives him a shield. And how much, however much shield there still is, when he does his lunge, it will explode with his lunge. So his lunge does even more damage. That's pretty good right there. You do a lot of damage. You have a means of survival. You can use the shield to get away, or you can use the shield to attack. And I'll show you the shield get destroyed right here. So here's Ra here. Here's the shield getting destroyed. No more shield, so now when I do my lunge, he won't have that bomb with it. And we'll see the bomb with it in a second. Now, his three gun there's might. It has 40% slow now, so he's got that strong slow again, but his damage has been lessened. Then there's his ultimate ring of spears. Now, the ultimate, his teammates can go through it. His enemies can't, and everyone can shoot through it. I don't know if enemies can shoot through the wall, but teammates can shoot through the wall. So his teammates can get assists by shooting in, using abilities in. There you go. Odin does not have CC immunity anymore, but he is immune to slow and root. 
so that he can fight and he has an attack speed reduction to enemies in there, healing reduction as well, so Ra can't do much in there. Vimana trapped in there would be great. But Odin doesn't have protections anymore, so Odin is easier to kill now. But the idea is supposed to be he's more aggressive for damage. So here's the Ring of Spears now. See, it looks like that. I can't walk out, and neither can Ryan. Here's my bomb. Kaboom! Bam! All that damage right there. Slow him down. And he's really slow. If we saw him move, we could see how slow he is. And that's it. So Odin's just more aggressive and easier to kill now, really. That's what they've done to Odin there is... He has this 1-2 combo that does a crap ton of damage. He has a slow, so he can just follow you and beat you up some more. And he's got his ultimate to make sure you never go anywhere. The only weakness, of course, is if you have a stun, you can slow, you can stop him so he can't do anything. And, of course, he's using his means of escape aggressively as well. So that's something to be scared of. So who knows with that. But if Odin can get 10 kills with that all to his pretty quick and early, which ain't easy to do, but if he can get it early, he could probably cause a lot of trouble. That's really what it is. He's more of a powerhouse now, less defensive. You can probably build tanky out of and still have a good amount of damage because of his lunge, but we'll see. And we'll play games with him in the future. Okay, here we go. We have Arachne, and very purple again, just like Odin. Your entire kit got changed. On paper, though, you can, con you can compare her to Loki in a way. She's got two in hands like him, she's got a slow like him, got a stun like him. She's got an ultimate that you either commit or escape with, and then that's where it stops after that. She's got a web wall she can put up. And she doesn't have an invisibility. Then her passive is this. The less HP you have, the harder she hits you. Basically, that's it. That's like kind of the old Quinn size there. If you do the math, at 95% of your HP, she's going to be doing 28.5% extra damage with her physical basic attacks. So that's going to hit like hell. You're going to die. Obviously, you're going to die from that next, next basic attack there. But that's how she works. The less HP you have, the harder she hits. So she's really meant for finishing people off. 100 to 0, she can probably do it pretty well with because of her stun, but there you go with that. So her abilities are Venomous Bite, Cocoon, Web, and Nightcrawler. Now, Venomous Bite is the first in-hand one where you buff her basic attack, and whoever she hits, she'll do poison damage and heal herself over time. Her second ability is Cocoon. Her next three basic attacks are going to be buffed by 70%. If she hits the same target with all three basic attacks, she stuns them for that duration. Now, if she only hits them once and then hits two other targets or whatever, she spreads her hits around then no stun happens. She just hits three different targets really fast, or two different targets really fast. Her third ability is web, and this is where you put up a web ball. Right there, you're gonna have two of them max right there. First enemy to walk through, spiderlings will attack them, and they'll leave a, uh, a web trail that will slow anyone who goes on it, and will speed up her acting when she's on it. And then there's your ultimate, which is like Loki, it's commit or escape alt, like Thanatos as well. And you do this. <laughs> You can run away doing this, or you can go and chase someone who jumped over a wall. Like so! Bam! Right there. Hit him. You might too. Cocoon him. Hit him with a DOT, and he's gonna die soon. Done. There you go. That's Raffoy right there. Dead Ra. There you go. So she's all about taking out low targets, is what I can tell here. There, have the spider. Break the wall, dang it! There we go. There, now he's slowed down. I'm faster on this web here. Cocoon him. There we go. Basic attack. There you go. And he's gonna go down. So there you go with that. So Arachne is very much, she feels like she's all about awareness. 100% about awareness. Knowing where the enemy is and all this stuff. Because, guess what? This web wall, if you walk through it, she knows where you are on the map now. That's right, this gives her awareness. So in a way, she's got counter jungling innately because of these webs. She doesn't need a, a ward for it, although wards are probably better, of course. But she can put this in front of a blue camp, or an orange camp, or red or other blue camp. She can put this in front of camps on the enemy side. They're like, oh, okay, well, going through it, now Now Arachne knows where I am. So it's kind of like, you know where Arachne's going to be, she might come after you, but also she knows where you are, and that'll be giving, so she can give her teammates uh, information on that. So that's interesting there. Just block off an area, block off part of the fire giant wall with it. Although the damage isn't that big, the slow could be pretty helpful for the team and stuff like that. So she has a little bit of presence, she can put that slow in a team fight. She can maybe do some damage, so she can hit with the one and then get the fudge out. I don't know. I don't know what you can really do with that, but she has a little bit, she has a different presence. Like her web will actually do something for her team, unlike the old web. So we'll see what her presence is late game in a team fight, but she's very focused on just beating the crap out of one target and killing them horribly. Look at that speed there. Getting that three cocoon really quick. And yeah, we'll just see, but I just hope I don't just keep doing one for one with this. Like I hope I don't have to commit so much that I just keep dying because I won and got him, but now I'm deeper on the other side. That's what worries me. A little bit there. Because then, eh, eh. 
I'm going to miss the old Arachne, of course. She required a lot of thought, a lot of precision, a lot of planning. She required just a lot of things to be done well, and that's what I liked about her. She had a very good skill ceiling, but that's gone now. So, here's the new Arachne. old Arachne's gone. Two years done. And we'll see how much fun we have with her. But that's it for the patch notes there. Thanks for checking them out. Hopefully there was information here uh, for you to think about or didn't think about, and that'll be good for you there. Up next is going to be Ymir support, and then Hercules... Uh, solo, and then we'll see the new gods next week. The reason why is because this came out a day late, so I got a midterm coming up, so I don't have any time anymore. I was ready to do this Tuesday. Didn't happen. So there you go with that. That is the patch. I had fun of him watching and listening. That's what it's all about, isn't it? Having fun. Thanks for coming by, and see you next time. And may this bring many a nightmare. Mm -hmm.